Hi, good morning. It's about uh, 10 after 7 on uh, Tuesday morning. Uh, I think that makes it the 10th of January. Uh, one of the things I always do in the morning before uh, the movies is go for a hike up the museum trail here behind the Palm Springs Muse Art Museum. Uh, it's a uh, mile hike up to the top uh, the first level, which is where they have these picnic tables, and actually uh, you can go all the way up to the top of the mountain, which is the Jacinta uh, mountain range, and it's about 8,500 uh, feet, I think, is the right amount. I'm only going up 1,300 feet um, elevation, um, and uh, as I said, it's just a mile up, and uh, there's a, the locals around here say if you do really quickly, it's tables in 20, the picnic tables in 20 minutes. Um, so I'm a little bit late starting. Usually I try to get up before 7, start before 7. So I'll uh, show you some pictures of the view on the way up and down. Bye now. From this vantage point, which is only at about, uh, not even halfway yet, uh, you can see the museum down below me, an old shopping plaza, it's actually pretty much deserted right now, the convention center, and then the airport off in the distance, it's about two miles down the uh, road uh, from here. Ah, I've got to keep going, bye now. Hi there. Um, day five, I think it is. I'm just going in to see um, my next film called Bullhead, which is, um, no gosh, where's the film from? I can't remember, but it did play uh, Tiff's uh, Real Talk back in October, I think it was, and it was very well received, and the programmer Shane told me I should definitely try to see it here, which I'm doing, but as you can see behind me, there's not much of a crowd, so this is a big theater, actually, and so it's going to be fairly empty, which I'm, I'm hoping is not uh, a sign that people uh, didn't like it for the first screening, because I think this is actually the second screening. Um, this morning, I saw a Moroccan film called uh, Love in the Medina, and it was uh, fair. I found it a little obvious, and uh, actually some of the script was a little, um, the dialogue was a bit cliche. Um, but the director uh, did a Q&A afterwards, and he did a lovely job. I asked him a question about the sexuality in the film, because the, the sex was actually fairly graphic by uh, what I would describe as mo uh, Middle Eastern standards. And he responded to my question by telling me that actually this film actually uh, was actually fairly graphic, and it's uh, sexual. Um, representation, but that he said he wanted to do that because for him it was important to demonstrate that love uh, has a sexual component to it. And he described the thawing of the, the, the scene as um, part of the response to the uh, Arab Spring possibly. And anyway, it was interesting film, um, and I'm glad I saw it, but I don't think it's going to make my top ten list for the festival. Well, everybody's gone inside, so so should I, and I'll talk to you later. Hi again. I'm outside the Camelot yet again. Uh, got out of Bullhead 
a uh, short while ago, and uh, it's quite an interesting film. It's uh, the the producer was present for the uh, Q&A afterwards. He described it as a, a farm noir instead of film noir because it's set in Belgium and has to do with the meat farming industry and the illegal steroid uh, mafia that helps uh, produce these uh, fattened bulls uh, um, illegally using steroids. Um, it's an interesting film because it's uh, a murder mystery. There's a, this mafia business going on, but uh, there's a very human side to the story, and it's an interesting way of doing things, and the acting job by the lead uh, actor was spectacular in it, so it's uh, an interesting film to see. Uh, the director has been working like crazy to get the foreign film uh, nomination, and matter of fact, he's been around, um, uh, it was named one of the top ten directors to watch by Variety, which had a big uh, event here back on Sunday, I think it was. And, uh, but now he's in L.A. promoting the film, so he sent the producer here today from L.A. to um, uh, do the Q&A for this film afterwards. I took a picture of him after the Q&A, and I'll put that on the blog as well. So I'm now going in to see... Um, I'm now going in to see... I don't remember the movie. Isn't this funny? Uh, I don't know, so I'll have to talk about it afterwards. Bye now. Hi guys, I uh, just got out of Snow's Kilimanjaro. I really liked it quite a bit and uh, was surprised. I didn't, I guess I didn't read the book carefully enough. It stars the male lead for, or who's the inspector in the uh, charismatic film La Havre and uh, he gives a very strong performance in this one. And it's a quite charming film, very nicely done. Uh, the line behind me is for Canadian film If I Were You, which stars Marcia Gay Harden, uh, who I think is going to be here for a Q&A afterwards. So I'm going to see if I can maybe film a bit of that or certainly get a photo. Talk to you later. Well, hi. I just got home after seeing the um, Canadian uh, movie If I Were You, uh, which is the world premiere of the film, first time it's been screened, um, with Marcia Gay Harden and Aidan Quinn and uh, some other uh, American actors. Uh, it was really well done, and the audience just loved it. it went, they went wild for it. And I think it's actually going to be um, very popular. The uh, director said that uh, it's got distribution uh, planned probably for Canada, United States in May. And I think this would make a terrific uh, sneak preview uh, screening at uh, TIFF uh, for their uh, the sneak preview uh, thing on the Sundays, which would be sometime in April probably. So, um, uh, Jesse, if you're watching, uh, maybe I should send you an email about it. Um, anyway, it was, it was really, really well received. A very broad comedy, great Friday night kind of movie. Very, very good. Uh, that's it. I need to uh, try to upload some of this stuff uh, to YouTube and uh, call it a night.